Hey guys, welcome to Hot or Not, where I tell you if something is hot or not. Like my nail stickers from Sally Hansen. Hot. Hot as can be. I've been in moving mode because I'm packing and moving and filming videos with a smoky eye and big fake lashes. So I'm like the most glamorous mover ever with my nail stickers on that have held up pretty well. So these are hot. Um, hot or not. Candy Crush. Does anybody else play this? I really, really, really swore to myself that I would never, ever, ever, ever do this, but it's happening. Candy Crush is so hot. I can't even, I, I can't even. Um, okay, um, back to reality with what my channel is all about, and that is beauty products. So I hate doing this, but I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, I give really honest reviews, and, you know, we're just going to get to it. Hot or not, Marc Jacobs. Perfection Powder. This little number is $46. This is probably the most amount I have ever spent on a powder, period. But I love the Genius Gel Foundation so much that I had such high hopes that I went and I took a dive off the deep end into spending all my money on makeup uh, and this ended up not being great. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, I have to say, the packaging, really beautiful. I mean, across the board, the whole Marc Jacobs line is really well done as far as the packaging and it feeling really elegant and luxury. But when you get down to the nitty gritty, do you really care what the packaging is all about or do you care how you actually look wearing the product? For me, I, I enjoy packaging, but I want the product to look amazing. And this doesn't even work as well as my Rimmel Stay Matte powder for $4.99 from the drugstore. So $46, $4.99. You guys see where I'm headed already. This is just a completely overpriced product for me. Now this is sold as a featherweight powder foundation. So you are supposed to get enough coverage out of the product to wear it on its own with no liquid foundation underneath and have this just be your foundation period. The thing that's an issue is it doesn't cover, it doesn't build, it feels like you try to build more and more and it just gives you that same powdery finish where your pores are emphasized, your fine lines are emphasized, things look chalky, they're not settling into the skin like you would hope. Um, this is supposed to mattify but also brighten the skin. That's something that pulled me in because, again, the Genius Gel Foundation is wonderful for combo skin. So whenever I see a powder that says it's going to brighten my skin, it's going to make things look diffused and bright and beautiful, but hey, it's also going to get rid of the shine and keep oil at bay without making you look too overly powdery or overly chalky. I got shiny really quickly. Uh, it didn't provide enough coverage. If I were to wear it alone, I would feel like I didn't have anything on my face except for it would just give this kind of off looking weird powdery chalky thing. Uh, but on top of foundation, it blotched, which was my number, 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 number one issue. I put it on with a sponge. I put it on with a powder brush. I uh, tried with a little detail brush. It just would not apply correctly. It would not sit over the gel foundation. And I had a huge issue with it streaking, blotching, grabbing to different areas where maybe the foundation, um, I don't want to say is wet, but... You know, when your foundation isn't completely sunk into the skin and then you go with your setting powder, uh, like the Derma Blend one, everything will go whoosh, it's perfect. This one, it would be like kind of perfect over here and then it's going to grab right here and then it's kind of perfect here so you could totally detect that there was powder on the face. And I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. <laughs> I spent all my money on this, it's so stupid. Ugh. Okay, um... I don't know that I would ever go the extra mile to keep my powder in the cloth thing. It kind of seems like... Yes, luxury, but now I have another step that I have to do. I have to take it out of my fancy cloth pouch and then open it up and then put it on and I'll look horrible because it's blotchy and awful. Um, yeah, I don't really have a good thing to say about this. Uh, the shade selection is great. They have eight shades, but whoop de freaking do If it does not sit well on the skin, then who really cares? I think this is a total product that they just, they put so much effort into so many other things in the line that are so great. I was waiting for this to be like a wonder product that blew me away where I was like, oh, it's the, Marc Jacobs is the greatest thing in the world and the Genius Gel is my favorite and this powder is my favorite and that's what I wanted to happen, but it just didn't. So I had to be honest with you guys, let you know that I tried this and although I love the foundation to pieces and I wear it every single day, uh, this was just no good for me. So thumbs down, 
It's a not product. Um, let me know in the comment section what you would like me to try next week. And thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.